to my favorite part of the show, Money Power Politics. Residents in high tax states like New Jersey and New York and California are bracing for their tax bills to go up under the newly passed tax law. Under the new law, deductions for state and local taxes, including property taxes, are capped at 10 grand a year, which is way less than many people in those states currently pay. So state officials across the country are desperately trying to find ways to circumvent the federal tax overhaul and save their homeowners thousands of dollars. One proposal in my home state of New Jersey would let homeowners contribute to charitable funds in exchange for tax credits. Charitable contributions are still fully deductible under the new law. It sounds interesting, but it sounds complicated, which is the opposite of what the goal of this tax law was. I want to bring back Congressman Josh Gottheimer from, of course, New Jersey. This is your plan, so walk us through it. You explained it perfectly. The way, as you point out, state and local tax deductions have been gutted under the tax hike bill that was passed in December. So greatly limiting people's ability to deduct their property taxes and their state income taxes. So a cop and a teacher in Paramus, New Jersey, their taxes are going to go up three to $5,000 this year alone. So what do we that do? That teacher already can't deduct buying pencils and pens and paper. Correct. So this is just insult oh, to Oh, excuse me. I'm wrong. They, no, they can. They can. they can, but this is just incredible insult to injury, making your taxes go up. So what do we do about it? One way, as you pointed out, and what we've developed, working, looking at what 22 other states already do and the IRS has already sanctioned, is you let towns set up a charitable fund. People could then make contributions to that charitable fund that are tax deductible. The town can give you a tax credit on your property tax bill at the end of the year. And so you actually keep your property taxes the same, but have picked up a charitable deduction and so now we found a way given the fact that people are losing their state and local tax deduction to actually still give them a deduction to let them save on their taxes. I think we need to do everything humanly possible to cut taxes and find ways to give people relief in the face of this tax hike bill which as you and I have talked about is directly targeted at states like ours and as these other moocher states like Mississippi and Alabama who by the way Alabama and South Carolina use this charitable contribution deduction already. Uh, they're, it's, it's, so now they're just wanting to take more out of our pockets, and that's what's incredible about it. If 22 states already have it, then how come the Tax Foundation says your proposal violates IRS rules? A senior policy analyst said this. I want to share it. To be deductible, charitable contributions must have a genuinely charitable aspect and cannot primarily benefit the contributor or involve a quid pro quo. So if that's what the Tax Policy Center says... Well, they obviously didn't read any of the uh, precedent here. They obviously didn't read the IRS, IRS rulings on this. And, and they didn't study the programs that are happening in 22 other states. By the way, mostly red states, I'd add. Um, so what makes this interesting is as long as you're not, you can't have it where it's your property taxes become deductible directly, right? That, of course, would be a direct uh, and would not be charitable. However, if you want to pay your property taxes, but also make a contribution to the town fund, the, ten, the town charitable fund, and the town wants to give you a deduction on your property tax bill, that's completely up to the town. In New Jersey, we've got the governor-elect coming in who said he's going to back this. We've got the state senate president who's going to back this. So we're going to push legislation through, and let's, let's go to work on it. And what they're going to have to do is reverse themselves and stick it to 22 other states who are also already using it if they want to remove this. All right, Governor Andrew Cuomo of New York says this state is going to sue over the new law, calling it unconstitutional and an assault on New York. You just mentioned these moocher states and how this tax law takes advantage of blue states like yours. Where's Chuck Schumer on this? Because I spoke to someone inside the White House who worked on tax reform, who early on said, yes, I know this state and local tax thing. People aren't going to like it. But let's see what Chuck Schumer has to say, assuming that Chuck Schumer would fight it, fight it for New Yorkers. But he really didn't. Well, uh, well, I'm not going to speak that to what Chuck did. I think he actually was out there pretty strongly fighting the state and local tax deduction elimination. But let's just talk about what we've got to do now. You've got to look forward. So just like any business or anybody else who's looking for how to make sure we study every aspect of this new tax hike bill. Let's look for how we can fight in New Jersey and other states and make sure that we get back tax cuts for our people in the face that they try to stick it to us. Why are people leaving New Jersey? It's the number two state uh, where people are leaving the state, moving elsewhere. For me, obviously it's mind blowing because I view it as God's country, but why are me people too, leaving? By, because they too, simply the can't afford to be they there? They obviously don't like Springsteen and good pizza. Hello, how about the Garden State Parkway? It's amazing. Amazing. Yeah, no, I actually find we've got great people and great neighbors, and this is a great argument, to, which is why we actually need to do everything humanly possible to make things more affordable for people. But why are people leaving? 
Well, I think it's expensive, and that's why we've got to cut taxes. You know, and I think, well, I, I believe we're going to have a great argument to get people and keep them here, and, and there's no reason why you wouldn't want to be in Jersey, in my opinion, right? You're right near everything. You've got the shore. You've got great Hello. food and amazing schools. Who needs and the best Barks cops when they had Long Beach Island? Exactly, and the best cops and teachers around. So I'm with you there. All right, before we go, government shutdown. What's going to happen here? It's like this big dance show. Is it really going to happen? I don't think so. Good. I think, I, think we're gonna, I think, by the way, it's going to be a fight between now and then, and we're gonna, both sides are going to line up and fight hard. But I think we've got, we gotta, you can't shut the lights off in the government for people, right? You I'm can't cut their Social Security checks off. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.